I think that sometimes when you're on a reality show, um, your context is only where you are and, and, and what you see and what you hear as opposed to when it airs, you know, you don't know what somebody else said in their, uh, yeah, in totally. their interview or how they took your date or how they did that. And then you see that and that could impact you. And there's nobody sitting beside you at home to go, I came off like a fucking idiot. Totally. Or, or maybe you didn't or were made to look like you came off like an idiot. You right. Know, and there's, there's nobody. And, and therefore, when I heard about this foundation or whatever it is, is it a foundation? Is it a, what is it, a group? I what? think it's a charity you can that focuses on um, working conditions for reality TV personalities and also therapy for those people. Which I thought was a great idea. Uh, it, 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 yeah. If you don't think no? so. You don't think so. Well, again, I just don't think um, it was presented in an accurate way. Again, like, again, the the focus was on the working conditions. I mm -hmm. think no one care. I think no one's going to take care of your mental health more than you're going to. So I think we have to, you know, be accountable for our mental health first and foremost. Um, and again, I think th most of the struggle that people have from a reality TV space that, you know, when it comes to their mental health, it, again, is the aftermath. It's, it's not, you know, not to get into some of the things that th they said, but it's not necessarily, you know, the long days that are, you know, the production schedule of, of some of these, the shows that, you know, there's just a lot going on, but it's, it's the Reddit posts and the comments on Instagram and the reading the articles about yourself. And these same people who were complaining about that are the same people who are also, you know, promoting internet bullying and trolling other people because they disagree with. And it's just like, to me, there's a bit of a hypocrisy in that. There is. And I, I just think, again, I, I, I'm a huge advocate for therapy and taking care of your mental health, but I'm also an advocate of policing yourself post-show and getting the, the help that you need and, and, and reaching out and asking for help when you need. It's not necessarily go, you know, asking fans for donations because you don't like how things played out when you were filming something. And again, if you're going to complain about that, I, I would like to see people take, you know, actions when it comes to how they handle themselves and how they protect their own mental health post show, which which comes down to your time on social media and your willingness to, or lack thereof to Google yourself or to, you know, immerse yourself in the comments and Reddit posts. And because that can really destroy your mental health. You're, you're, Absolutely. You're, you're chasing validation and you start editing yourself and or you respond to things like a, a, a big thing that happens in our world, you know, as a podcaster, for example, um, we recap other shows and a pretty common we're right now charity the current bachelorette's going on overall i love charity i think she's an entertaining bachelorette really been enjoying her i'm surprised by how much i'm enjoying her because she comes from a therapy background so i thought she might be more reserved you know i thought she might be more guarded which you know as a uh, in life is probably a good thing to be on tv it's not as entertaining to watch right so but I've, i found her to be entertaining i've also noticed that she seems to be attracted to you know, pretty men. And she seems to be a magnet for fuck boys. And so uh, that's just my opinion. Right. And so I'll say this on a, a, an episode, one episode, my overall sentiment is love charity is bachelorette, really entertained by her, but someone who might be a fan of charity almost, and I guarantee this has happened without confirming because it happens every season. They will take a critical comment that I might say, they will DM or message charity saying, can you believe what Nick Vile said about you? Blah, 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 blah. Most people will then you know, like read that headline, get mad, get furious, maybe, you know, and they'll cherry pick the, you know, and so again, it's like, stay out of your DMs, stay out of your comments. These, there's things you can do, you know, seek advice from people who've been, been on these shows and, and get, you know, feedback on how to protect your mental health. <laughs> Uh, you know, that's just been my experience because that's your yeah. experience. But my experience as an older guy and who's lived a lot of life, I don't think people have that kind of self-control or awareness. I think we're I, saying the same thing. I don't we think are. we're disagreeing. I, I think it started with yeah. my misunderstanding of what you were against. You know, I did like, uh, I do think that there should be something set up for reality stars where they have, and, and, and not necessarily by the actual production company, but just an overall place where they can go because nobody can explain to you how Are reality you, stars part they're not part of a union right i don't think so no, no. 
yeah. not based off their time as reality stars. Right. Know? They can become actresses and actors and, and, and yeah. join a union, but I, I don't think that's what they want. Um, the, the, uh, but yeah, but the particular thing you guys are referring to, I, I just didn't agree with how it <clears throat> was delivered or how they went about it. I, again, and I don't agree that, um, I don't think it's okay to ask for fans and kind of placate to your fans and they are fans of you. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't think they should be responsible for paying for, you know, your, your therapy. 